it figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Digging in, Nicholas Castellanos. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here we go, Here we go. The 1-1 is strike two swinging. I got to count one and two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. In now the for the Reds, Philip Irvin. Fill up. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hit high and deep out to left field. Into the bleachers and gone. Into the box, Joey Votto. Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. On the first, and Votto's gone for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Up high, two and one now. off here's Lester now on two and two and it's fouled away bases are empty here with two men out now he drops a change up on him strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side Digging in, Javier Baez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Popped up. There to take it is Votto, and there's one gone. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Pisali is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. The 1-1. One, one is taken for ball two. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Wilson. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Digging in, Mike Mustakis, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. The three and one pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. 
half. That's to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. The one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Half is there, two gone. Standing in, Aristides Aquino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Kyle Schwarber, and they'll need him to get something going here. The one two. And he fouls this one off. Line drive, base hit to right. So now to the plate, Ian Happ, line towards center field, and that's in there, base hit. In now, Jason Kipnis. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. Fouled away. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Full count, here it comes. Here's the two-seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. So stepping in, John Lester, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And that brings up Javi Baez. Over one here in the early going. Schwarber, the runner at third, half on second. Kipnis at first, one gone. High and deep to left center field. Gone! It's a grand slam! Yeah, well, you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded with the power hitter at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, so much for that. He obviously made a mistake, and the big slugger made him pay. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and this will wind up a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late. A swing and a blast to center field. No doubt about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs as that one's way out of here. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. And right into the shift. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Digging in to try it again. Wilson Contreras. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the one and one pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Two out, nobody on. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Ball 
all set for the start of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Kurt Casale. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. It looked like he was trying to dial nine. But when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. In now, Anthony DiSclefani, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 1-1. One, one. Another 1-2 delivery. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Too high, and that cost him ball four. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homer his first time around. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Nope. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. Now Rizzo belts one. Carrying well into right field. Looking up is the right fielder. And that's off the scoreboard. What a blast. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Sliced hard, but foul to the left. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Lofted in the air out to right field. Urban is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. The next cub up, Jason Kipnis. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Here it comes on 1 and 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the left fielder. Still going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Jose De Leon is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Into the box, John Lester. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Javier Baez would be next. 
fouled off. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 3 1. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now to the plate, Eugenio Suarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Eugenio Suarez goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. And it's fouled away. One run, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ball three. Three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Half is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and up next, the former Philly shortstop Freddie Galvez. The 3-1. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now at the plate, Aristides Aquino. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Is crushed to straightaway center. No doubt about this one. That ball is gone. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Popped him up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Anthony Rizzo. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton, he didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Now the 2 1 pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Skied into very shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Kurt Casale. And he 
misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And he can't get the bunt down here, so it goes to two and two. And they do have him scoring with two strikes as he gets this one down. There's one. On to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. Back to the top of the order now. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. The one-two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Striding in once again, Kyle Schwarber. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Ian Happ. He'll swing it from the left side right here. A 1-1 home. Misses for the second ball. Half with a swing and he connects, sends this one to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Standing in now, Jason Kipnis. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Scorch to third. Pro gets him, two down. Next to hit will be the pitcher, John Lester. No hits to this point. The 1-1 home. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he is in the second with a two-out double. The back. The first stop. Javier. In now, Javier Baez. Swung on and missed. One and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. The count now at two and two. Two and two now to Baez. Takes this the other way to right. Irvin is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Philip Irvin. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he popped him up. Kipnis onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So up steps the former the MVP, Joey Votto. Joey Votto. The 3 1 coming from Lester. And a cut fastball comes in a bit tight. It's ball four. Stepping into the box, Eugenio Suarez. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3-1 and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Payoff pitch coming from Lester.
Hit hard on the ground to third. Kipnis on to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Lifted in the air to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's 3 and 1 now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Hopped up. Casale moving to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Into the box, Mike Mustakis, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. And that misses two and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The batter, number three, shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Stepping in now, Freddie Galvis. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now with the plate, Aristides Aquino. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. On a rope to the second baseman, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Striding into the box, Kirk Casale. It was a walk in his last trip. This is line to left. Schwarber is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Wade Miley will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tucker Barnhart is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2 2. Hit sharply on the ground. Mustakis is there. And there's one away. Digging in once again, Kyle Schwarber. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here now the 2 2. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. 
Digging in and looking for more. Ian Happ. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Jason Kipnis would be next into the corner and slicing foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. The count remains full. Fouled away. And take a good look there as this misses for ball four and the Cubs have themselves a two out base runner. Now back. Now at the plate, Jason Kipnis. And at first after the two out walk. Miley sets. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Grounder down the line at third. The 1-2. Two balls, two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. On the ground to the right side. Taken in by Votto. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Alec Mills will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. David Bodie will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 13, the 1-1. swing and a shot hit down the corner nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball a two and two count here's the pitch Helpful. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1 home is in there for the second strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Still a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Two two one more time. Fouled off. Set to deal on two and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Hayward. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Philip Irvin. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. fouled away one run two hits and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two striding in Joey Votto it was a walk in his last trip the one one is taken high above the zone.
now the 2 1. Hit on the ground to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So in now for Chicago, David Bodie. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now with this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense fellas. Well Matty V I don't know what your thoughts are D roll but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball two. Out of play. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. And bye bye, that one's gone into the bleachers. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two. One out, nobody on. Two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Bryant. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And oh look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. But that finds its way through for a base hit. He's around first heading for two. Around second he's on his way to third. And he is into third with a two out triple. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Robert Stevenson comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Digging in now, Anthony Rizzo. His prior history in this matchup, he's just two for 12. Sent out to straightaway center field. Aquino will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. All set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. A 1 1. Suarez left field and carrying well. And that'll hit off the Ivy out there. The batter out. Second base. Mike. Luke Dawkins. At the plate now, Mike Mustakis. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the, the inning. Number three, shortstop, Freddie So now to the plate, Freddie Galvis. One ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two.
Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. And he fouls this one off. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Fouled away. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Back on it is the left fielder to the track. And this one is gone. A home run. Jeremy Jeffress, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 24, Jeremy To the plate now, Aristides Aquino. Inside and low, two and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Half will slot over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Jesse Winker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for Cincinnati. Number 33, Jesse Winker. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that's going to be off the ivy-covered wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back. Catcher. Tucker. Barnhart. In now, Tucker Barnhart. Two balls and a strike. Jeffress has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Three runs already home here. Hit hard to the right side. To second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. Ten to four, the final in this game. Chicago seal up their 30th win at home on the season. John Lester earns his eighth victory of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Anthony DiSclefani was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Ten runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Reds, four runs on six hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.